Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be showing you some of the tips and tricks on how to put on the latest M7 stickers on a Tony Kart 401 racer or an 801 Krypton. Just a quick mention to everybody that has been subscribing over the last few weeks, turning on those pesky notifications. We've really noticed a great uptick in the following here at Power Public. So cheers for all that support. And as always, a huge shout out goes to our biggest fans over on Patreon and YouTube members. We really appreciate that little bit extra from you guys as well. Over the last few weeks, we've been smashing out these carts and I've done heaps of sticker kits. So I was going to share with you guys today some of those things that I've learned. Now this video is a bit of a retake of some of our other sticker videos. Obviously we've updated all the equipment here at the House of Power and we're bringing you some high quality videos. So let's get to it. Okay, so just like our previous videos, we're going to start sanding the plastics back with a bit of ember paper and then wipe them down with the methylated spirits just to keep them nice and clean so they stick as bond really well. So now that we've prepared all the plastics, we're ready to start installing the stickers. The first thing we're going to do is remove the stickers from the packet. So we're just going to open the packet up like so. And the first thing we're going to do is the side pod stickers. Now one thing I haven't mentioned is that to get a really good job with the stickers is either use a heat gun or a hairdryer. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the protective film off the front of the sticker. And now we're going to peel back the the, the backing on the sticker. Now I like to peel the whole lot off and I put this back corner up here like so and then I sort of eyeball this edge with the, with the plastic. And don't be scared, you can pull it off a couple of times to get it just perfect. Run your hand down through the center of the side pod and then using your hands or like a credit card or something, you can sort of work it the sticker out from the center. I don't work here forwards just yet because I'll probably pull that back because there's some complex angles down on the front of the side pod. So like I said just work from the center out and it tries to minimize the amount of bubbles that you're going to get in your stickers. And then all these little ones down the bottom what we can do there is heat it up at the end and it will start to soften the, the vinyl onto the plastic. Now if you do get a bit of a bubble here, you can peel that sticker back and then same thing, work through the center of the side pod first and work outwards and you should be able to get rid of most of the bubbles if not all of them. Then we can just simply work forwards along the center line. So now we've got most of the sticker on already. Like I said, those last bits, we can just grab our heat gun and work along the edges with the heat gun, softening the sticker as we go and getting it to stick onto the plastics. So we've got ourselves a little bit of a bubble here where the plastic's changing shape. So we can simply peel the sticker back and then just with your thumb, or that's what I like to use, just push through that area first, stick it back down, and you're good. So now that we've installed the side panel, we're going to go on with the top of the side pod next. And the same thing again, we're just going to peel back that uh, protective film and then we can peel back the sticker backing and we're going to put it straight on the plastics.
if you're like me and you like to throw the instructions in the bin before you start, that's a no deal. These ones are actually really clear and simple to follow. So you just do the one, two, three, four, just like the Tony Card guys recommend. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, we've been fitting stacks of these stickers lately. And one of the tips I got off my fellow YouTuber, Visa Racing, all the way from Spain, was to heat the sticker up before you go to put it on the nose cone. And that really helps to bend the sticker through the contours because it makes it really soft. So shout out Visa Racing. And we will leave a link to his channel in the description below. And with the hot floppy sticker, we're just going to put that onto the plastic like so. Just keeping in mind of this edge here at the top of the nest of the side, <laughs> top of the side, but the top of the nose cone. And then we can push it down through this little ridge first with our thumb. And I'm holding the sticker up here and then just working back to center. And slowly work the sticker down in, into this sort of channel in the nose cone because it's got some complex angles here. You just want to work slowly. You can heat it up as you go, but I like just to push it on and then heat it up at the end. So those two stickers are quite straightforward as you can see from the video. With a little bit of practice you can get them on nice and easy. Now for this big, big bad boy, this one's a little bit more technical because we're going to wrap it all the way around the front of the nose cone. Use the old heat him up with the heat gun trick at the start. Okay so now that we've got this sticker preheated we can peel back the protective backing the backing sheet and then what we're going to do is start over here just like the instructions say just get those lines to match up and then I work across the nose cone like so and I'm just watching this this bottom edge is is nice and neat and then I run my fingers, you can see there's a little groove up here and I just push the sticker down into the groove and that's basically the hard part done. Then you can put the sticker down like that. We can work through this little section. You can add heat which will make the sticker bend a little bit more. So now we're just going to work the sticker onto the plastic and I, I just start on this sort of this ridge of the nose cone and then work up slowly. So before you really squash this last section down here, uh, what I like to do is heat it up again and just push them out and try to stretch the sticker around the curves and then it'll stop any creases in the vinyl. Be 
careful one note with the heat gun is obviously they're really hot but also if you heat the sticker and it makes them soft which is good for molding them but if you have to peel it back while it's hot you can actually stretch them out of shape and especially around these areas where the lines want to try to get them to marry up as nicely as you can so if I peel that back now while it's hot it can distort this line and it makes the stickers look a little bit funny when you stick them back down So the thing I like to do with my heat gun when they're hot is just rest them down here inside of the um, stub axle and it keeps the hot tip away from your hands. Now we're on to everybody's favorite, the M7 NASA panel. So with the sticker back removed, we're just gonna slowly put the NASA panel sticker down and make sure this guy all lines up. And then I like to work the sticker down along the side of the number plate section up to here. I'm holding a bit of pressure with the sticker with my hand here so I can pull it around and try to get the the sticker to sort of follow the ridge of the, the NASA panel here. And then with the sticker turned up you can sort of work back down these curves and with a little bit of heat we can get that last bit of the sticker down onto the plastic. So with the top half of the sticker down, we can now work through this complex curve here on the NASA panel and out to the edge. But before we do that, we're just gonna remove the screw that's holding the NASA panel to the bracket. And then we can cut this hole out later. If you've got any bits of sticker overhanging the edge of the plastics, get yourself a nice sharp razor and then you can just trim that back. It's a little bit hard to do here upside down. But I am trying to cut away from myself for safety purposes. You can just trim them back just like so. And while we've got the razor blade out, we can cut the hole for the mounting bolt. So the four tips for putting on insane stickers is use some wet and dry to rub the plastics down first, clean the plastics with methylated spirits before you put the stickers on, use a heat gun to soften up the stickers before you put them on the plastics, and then clean up any edges and cut any holes with a sharp razor blade. Now with this particular Tony cut, if you're working on the side pod, we're gonna start at the back here, watching that top edge and work forwards, and then work down to the bottom of the side pod and then simply lay the top side pod sticker on last. With the M7 NASA panel, we're gonna start at the top here, working our way down around the number plate, along the ridge, and then back down and working through this complex sort of concave section of the NASA panel to get those stickers down without any bubbles. For the nose cone, we're gonna start with the top panels first working from the center outwards. And then with the bottom panels, we're gonna start in the center, work outwards, making sure we line up with the bottom edge and then come up through this little sort of fillet here and then work the sticker down onto the panel. 
If you've made it this far, thank you very much. We really appreciate you guys tuning in every week, subscribing, turning on those pesky notifications, following us on Instagram and Facebook, and checking us out on the interwebs at powerrepublic.com.au. Thanks again and see you in the next video.